Hi guys, welcome back to another Rainbow Loom tutorial. This time, it is for a really cute, simple bracelet. Really cute, really simple bracelet I came across. I'm not sure if this is original, but I haven't seen it anywhere on YouTube or Instagram. So, I'm pretty sure that I can go ahead and do a tutorial uh, for it. Um... So this is how it looks. I think I'm going to call it the inverse braid bracelet. Um, but can't really see how it looks. I've lost my focus here. So, okay, there we go. That's how it looks. As you can see, it's got two different color borders and then the two color braid. And it's made using some inverse fishtail stitches, so I thought I would call it the inverse braid. Because, as you can see, it's got that really cute, realistic braid in the middle. So, to make this bracelet, you will need two colors, as I have here, and two pin, uh, two pins, two peg bars, two pegs. <laughs> um, so, you can make this on the mini loom, or the monster tail, or the finger loom. But it needs to be able to grow out between the two. So I wouldn't like make it on these two. I mean, I guess you could, but yeah, and the mini loom would kind of be harder. So the finger loom, like, cross these two pegs of the finger loom, or the monster tail, which I have some here, like across the two middle pegs so it could grow out in the finger loom, and then the monster tail. You know the two, I mean, it would grow out of the middle. But anyway, so the first thing you want to do is we're going to pretend that this yellow band here is twisted. So you're going to twist a band across in a figure eight. And then add a, then another band that's of the other color. And then go back to your first color and, and, and add on a top band. And then, I think we will pick, so we're going to start on the left side here, and we're going to grab this orange and pull it under the yellow, and then pick up the yellow, which is now the middle band, and pull it over the top one, and then on this side, we're going to just find the bottom band and pull it over. No special things or anything. So that's why I call the inverse braid because it's got a little inverted fishtail stitch. And then we'll get our next color. We're always going to be alternating. As you can see, I'm using my new neon yellow and orange. And they look awesome. So now on this side, we did the inverted fishtail stitch. Now we're going to go to this side and grab this middle yellow, pull it under, grab the orange, pull it over the top one. And then on this side, just make a normal fishtail stitch. And then pull down once in a while to make it form. And after we do that, we can push our bands down and get a neon yellow. Put it on. You need to keep track of which sides you need to do each stitch on. You're going to go alternating back and forth, so it's on this side now. Grab the orange, pull it under, then grab this yellow, which is now the middle, and pull it over the top one in a single chain. Oops, well, yeah, um, loop process. And then you will grab this just bottom band and make the fishtail stitch. As you can see, it's growing. And now, it's time to push our bands down. Take a neon orange and put it across the two pen, pins. And then, um, now we will go to this side and grab the yellow. Pull it down under the orange. 
grab this new middle orange and pull it up and over. Then on this side, just make a normal fishtail stitch. So as you can see, there's this more of this really cute braid growing. This is a thin bracelet, just warn you. Um, it's a little thicker than the Khalil and like the Symmetry Science, but um, it's not that big. The braid is, isn't that big, it's little. And then, now what we need to do is get a neon yellow. And put it on. Is that on all the way? Normally, nope. Alright, let's try that again. There. So, now we need to go on this side. Now, what you can do is just push back this orange, grab the bottom yellow, and pull it up and over. That's how you do the fishtail stitch, the inverse fishtail stitch normally. But on this side, you just take the bottom band, no special going in or anything. Just take the bottom band and pull it up and over the top two. Grab a neon orange. Put it on. And now, on this side, we need to take our hook and we are going to push back the middle band. So this middle yellow. Grab the orange and pull it up over the top one. And that's... So we're just obviously repeating this for the whole entire bracelet. So kind of stretch... Don't really... You don't really want to stretch it out like this. It gets kind of ugly. As you can see, these are not even borders because it's a braid, so they can't be even. And I think that gives it an even cooler look. Oh, but anyway, yeah, I need to bring over the bottom band on this side. And then I need to get a neon yellow. Push back this orange, grab the bottom yellow, and bring it up. Then on this side, just grab this bottom yellow band and pull it up over. Time for a neon orange. Place it on. And then on this side, push back the yellow and bring up this orange through it. Then over the top one. On this side, just make the normal fishtail stitch. Then, push your bands down and take a neon yellow. This time on this side, go in to the orange and pick up this yellow and pull it over. And on this side, just take the bottom band and pull it over. This is another one of the simple bracelets that I just do the steps over and over with you again just to make the tutorial as long as I want it to be. Neon orange. Push back just this yellow. You don't need to do anything with the top band. Oops. <laughs> Come on. You're going to be part of a really cool bracelet. Gotta cooperate. Alright, go through and pull this neon orange over. And on this side, just pull over the bottom band in a normal fishtail stitch. Take the yellow, put it on. Push back this orange, grab the yellow, and pull it over. Pull that on over in a normal fishtail stitch. I'll go over with this with you one more time. So you add an orange. Now on this side, we don't do anything with the orange we just added. Pull back this middle yellow, and through it, grab the orange over the top band. 
and then on this side you make a normal fishtail stitch. And if you keep repeating these steps, then you will get this wonderful inverse braid bracelet. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to do all of our social media. The links are in our channel description. And, um, uh, if you like this bracelet, please give it a big thumbs up. I'm sure many of you will like it, because it is a quite an awesome bracelet. And, um, bleh, if you like our channel and our designs, what we do, please go hit that subscribe button. Just a tap of your finger um, will make your YouTube experience and your looming experience so much better. Um, and, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.